to help that that financial soul to transform into abundance, there's quite a few things you can do. Any of these techniques that we're working with, the say hello basically can be the one minute healing, which is just very direct. Dear soul, mind, and body of my finances, I love you. I honor you. I appreciate you. You have the power to grow in abundance. Release all blockages. You know, you can directly connect with it. Chance, love, peace, and harmony. This is the most powerful mantra we know to release blockages on the soul level. It is offering incredible service. And the virtue of offering this service brings extraordinary blessings. Yeah. <clears throat> There's another um, technique that we work with called soul orders, which is described more in um, the later book, in The Power of Soul. And I'll just tell you the one for finances. Write it down. This is what really works. It's a really good one. Okay. Okay. So the principle is, is that um, the higher level souls in your body can give directions to other levels of souls in your body. So what you want to connect with is the soul of your finances. Remember, the soul level first, and then the mind and body follow. So the order is, okay, soul of my finances orders my finances to grow in abundance. Okay, practice this as a mantra. Connect with the soul of your finances, offer <laughs> unconditional love, chant love, peace, and harmony, and then work with the soul order. Okay? Soul of my finances orders my finances to grow in abundance. Okay? Remember to do the soul invocation first. Yeah? Connect, offer love, chant, you know, really open the space, and then you give the direction very clear. These soul orders are very powerful. Soul of my finances orders my finances to grow in abundance. Remember, it happens on the soul level first, then the mind and the body follows. Work with this. It is very, very powerful. Another powerful tool that we work with is soul conferencing, which will need to also be the topic of another workshop which is where when we're wanting to create an event, a meeting, maybe a wedding party, um, a significant gathering that is very important to us that it goes smoothly and that the blockages are removed. Okay? Perhaps there's an important meeting that we want, perhaps there's an important interview, perhaps we're wanting to get a certain project approved, perhaps we're wanting to get something coming through. We can call upon all the souls involved, even court cases, whatever it is that we're dealing with. We can call all of these souls in and sit them down at the conference, okay? Offer them love, offer them blessings, chant for them, offer them healing, <coughs> chanting love, peace of God, Satsang Julio Bayo, any of these um, power, soul power tools <coughs> received today. They will be so grateful. They will be cooperative with you. And you can give very specific instructions about what you need each one of them to do. As long as you're doing it from a place of integrity and in everybody's interest, not asking them to do anything that would be against anyone's soul journey, um, you can really create a very harmonious meeting before you actually have it. And it does actually have quite significant outcomes. We had a friend recently who, um, the, she's writing for a magazine, and the magazine editor had called them all in and said, look, I'm really sorry, but everybody is um, going to have to accept half salary this month because we've got no money left on the verge of bankruptcy. And the next month he called them back and said, look, I'm really sorry, but nobody's going to be able to take any salary this month. And my friend was just like, oh my goodness, we're going to do something about this. So she started soul conferencing every day soul conferencing also with the financial soul of the company and soul conferencing for the, for the abundance for everybody to be able to receive and to find a solution for this to happen. The very next day, he called them back in and said, you know what, we just had a huge advertiser book 12 months in advance. You all are going to get your salaries this month. <laughs> she was very relieved. <laughs> so was everybody else, but they didn't know. <laughs> 
these kinds of stories are really wonderful and they happen quite often. I had a friend who was, you know, that was just recently tax time, no? He had to somehow get 13 and a half lakh by the 31st of March and he didn't know where he was going to get it. So he just started soul conferencing. And somehow all these people from his past who owed him money or wanted to advance him something, by the 31st of March he had all his money in. It is powerful to work on the soul level, okay? Next, next workshop we're going to work with life transformation, okay? So there will be a lot of this financial relationship, soul conferencing, all of these things. It's, it's infinitely creative and flexible, the system. You can work with it on so many levels. Just remember the say hello formula and work with it. Yeah, as long as you're really sincere. Yeah, it's always you say hello, give love, make the affirmation, give the direction, and express your gratitude. You do it on the soul level first. I have my, when my little kids are not wanting to leave the playground, I talk to them first on the soul level. Okay, really, it saves a lot of power struggles. For any moms, you know what that can be like. <laughs> do it on the soul level first, and then address it. <laughs> okay, so when our home is a very nice mantra for stress and weight loss and things. Okay, oh, here was the picture of the Lower Dantian and the Snow Mountain. These are the main energy centers that we're working with, but I know that you're all quite familiar with these. Okay, Lower Dantian, long life. This is what all these Taoist saints were doing, so that once they were awake, they could stay and serve. That's why they wanted to live to be a few hundred years old. It's not that they didn't want to die, it's just they wanted to be able to serve. So they learned how to do all these amazing practices to really prolong their lives and to live like way beyond what would normally be. There's the snow mountain area, okay? And these are also in your booklets. The message center. So communication channel, center for healing, love, forgiveness, compassion, karma, life transformation, soul enlightenment. Center of Soul Intelligence, Wisdom and Knowledge, stores all messages from your past lifetime. This is what's getting cleared with the forgiveness practice. Don't forget to do this one every now and then, just to really, just to, to boost your boost your whole um, energetic cohesion. Okay, message center, can chat, can do as we like. Third eye, we don't start with this until after doing the foundational energy centers for a long time. What we actually find is a month. What we find here in India is that many people here are very open and very fully developed in their upper foundational um, centers. But these ones are quite low. So people can get very dizzy and very ungrounded. You know, when this is open and this is not strong, it is so important to have a strong foundational energy center. We do these um, practices for at least 